somehow. Because she gives us a little backstory even into Noni's life. Noni was supposed to have been like this spoiled um, silver spoon in the mouth chick. Young girl growing up. So how did you turn into this monster where you literally, literally, literally hate your child? She 30 years old. How do you show your child that you are extremely jealous of her? Imagine that. So I ain't going to keep talking about it, baby. I'm going to just go and put it on you. I'm going to go and put it on you. PK in seven minutes. I'm going to go and put it on you. Okay? So when I got off last night, some said, check your Facebook messages. So I looked, and there was something there. We had a little group chat. Um, this been for months. Um, I never commented in there until last night because what I saw that she had posted in there was where she just want to be heard. She just needs somebody to listen. I don't even know this little girl. And let me quit calling her a little girl because she is a grown woman. She's 30 years old. I don't know her, but just, and I haven't spoken to her. But, oh, Noni has done some horrible, horrific, horrific, monstrous things to her daughter. Okay. Monstrous things to her daughter. It's that deep. I don't know this little girl, this this lady, Noni's daughter. But all I could think, and you know, I begin to think deep, like, why this come to me? Why did this come to me? Like, why? Why me? That young lady. but always in everybody else's business and trying to make lies up on people and really living in total denial. Noni, you hear me because you in the window. You are a monster and your daughter proved it. I'm cold. It's cold in here. Let's get to it. So Noni hasn't been live in quite a while, right? Am I wrong? Have I missed her? Them be the ones. And I always kind of say that. The ones that are always stalking Maya in my business, worried about uh, other people's parenting and things like that, usually are really, really, stop, stop, child. You ain't getting my shoes. Stop. Are really, really, usually the ones that got a lot of stones, a lot of shit hid up under them rocks, baby. They usually be the ones. Is this it, Rye? Oh, Rye. You know about this with her daughter? Oh. Hey, Nika. Thank you, boo. Y'all, we got a PK in four minutes. Oh, my God. So, this young lady, I do not want to disclose her name because I do not want to be go attacking her. That's why I'm not bringing her on here. It ain't that serious for me. Oh, girl, she give any men, usually prison men. We're going to hear about all that. She gives the prison men more love and more care and concern than she has ever given her children. And we got solid proof today. We're going to hear straight from the daughter's mouth. We're going to hear her story straight from her. How pathetic of a mother she is. 
How sad and pitiful that you put these prison men before your child. You hate her, Noni. You hate her. But from here on out, I'm going to be a part of your daughter's support system. And I'm going to give her some unconditional love, some love that you could not, you don't even have in you. I'm going to offer that to her from this day forward. You are pathetic. But let's get into the story. I'll get in your ass later. So the young lady must just want it to a mentor of however I could be. Okay. When y'all see her, when you hear her voice, you're going to know what I'm talking about. About this being a, I ain't talking about no looks. Y'all know she is, she's, she's a beautiful black girl, but she not one of them old frilly fancy. And I got, I got my wig and my nails. Mm -mm, sister deep. So, so smart. And she's strong. She one of the strongest young women I have ever, and I've never still met her. Just from her video, just from hearing her voice and how eloquently she speaks and how well she speaks and, and her story lets me know this baby have tried and to persevere through some shit. Okay. Two minutes to the PK. Two minutes. We got a 90% um, PK, y'all. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start first um, where the young lady is having a dialogue with Noni. Okay. she's. Let me rephrase that. She's having a dialogue in the house. Okay. Thank God she survived it all. And however I could support this young lady, y'all, after y'all through listening to this and hearing her, you'll know why I feel this way. You'll know why. So she's having a dialogue in the house. Mind you, Noni ain't been live all week. Noni ain't been live in quite a while. All this has been going on over the past week. Um, there's been some things going on there. She is home. Well, I haven't spoken to her to know if she is currently homeless. I do want to speak to her directly. And I tried to wait. I tried to wait. She might be sleep late, but I messaged her last night after I saw those, saw the, the videos. Thank you, Shopper Status. We got a PK, y'all. It starts now. Thank you, Shopper Status. Y'all don't forget to check your, um... Check your free your your item item bag because that's where you got a lot of gift sets you probably won if you've been playing the uh, treasure chest. Um, this deep. Anyway, let's go. Noni and her are bickering. From what it sounds like in this video, the young lady has been telling Noni that she sees roaches. We're gonna start there, and I think this is it. Thank you, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is deep. Hold on. We're going to start there. Mm, mm, mm. She got mad because I said I killed roaches. They're roaches. That's that nasty stuff. You don't need to look at my stuff and comment on it and say crazy stuff. And they post my pictures. They post Lorenzo's pictures. They post his kids' pictures. And you're so why are you on there? It's not safe. You have people coming down here. Somebody flew from Atlanta down here. Flew from Atlanta down here. Took the back 
roads to get to this house and took pictures of the house. There ain't no, there ain't no major highway. And you can take to here. Because that's crazy. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. You killed three. And you just think that's the whole bunch of girls. You haven't seen it more today? All right. All right. Come over here. That's the reason why. Everybody's going to fight you. That's the reason why. Everybody's going to fight you. So I oversaw what Vinny was saying. You understood what Vinny was saying? Vinny said all that, talked all that mess to me, and then he was putting up a GoFundMe for his house. Okay. So that one is where she's just talking to Noni, you know, some slight about roaches. You could tell from that dialogue, you know, um, I believe that out of when we hear when we hear the meat and the potatoes of this, you're gonna understand why I'm saying this. I believe Noni has done so much. Thank you, everybody. I believe Noni has done so much. I believe Noni has done so much harm to this little girl that right now at 30, she see her strength. She's scared of her, as you should be. And I hope that if you think you could put your hands on her again. Come on, you a damn lie. <laughs> I hope that if you think that you could put your hands on her again and treat her like the animal you are, I hope you know you are wrong. I pray for that girl's strength as she has to deal with you. She don't want to. And I'm going to ask her if wherever she want to go, I will buy her ticket. But I want her. We're going to get to all that. We're going to get to all that. She needs to get the fuck away from the whole family. Stop it. The whole family means her no good. No good. And I say that because... The grandparents are, they too old. And they've been around for years too and they allowed a lot of shit to happen. I ain't allowing shit to happen to mine. I'm not allowing my daughter to dog my grandchild ever. If I got to bang her ass, that's what I'm gonna do when it come to my grandbaby. I'm not gonna allow Maya to treat my grandson like the shit that you treated your daughter. And I haven't spoken to your son. I haven't heard much about him. But probably him too. He had to live in that shit. He had to live the exact same way. But it seemed like you loved him a little more than you loved your daughter. Because you hated her. You hated her. They trying to get who? Call who slow, sweetie? Because ain't none of mine slow. What you talking about? You hated your daughter. You hate, not hated. Hated is past tense and now y'all got better. You hate your daughter. And I thought about this long and hard. I thought about doing shit a little different and call a meeting with Noni behind the scenes. Just me and Noni. Don't nobody know other than my people that can get in contact with her and her people that, uh, 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 my people that can get in contact with me. Give me a meeting set up with Noni. But she wouldn't do that. And she knows this is some embarrassing shit. Thank you, y'all. She knows that what has been going on over there, what has been going on all this little girl, 30 years of living, what's been going on is completely unacceptable. She would never. So I realized how I got to play with them. I'm on fight fire with fire. 
Oh, she ain't got no room to drag nobody. And thank you, everybody, for the gifts. And we finna hear all of it. All of it. So we just seen it with the with the with the with the with the roaches. So there are roaches in Noni's house. Um, they do have roaches. I know she be trying to act like she's mother may have and mama Mabel and Patty Homemaker. But she's not. The young lady showed all the filth. We seen that counter. All the filth going up and down the side of the counter. And the young lady had, thank you, Nika. Thank you. Thank you. The young lady had seen all them roaches. And had just brought it to her attention. It upset Noni. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. She got mad because I said I'm for real. Let's get to it. Known. Beautiful young lady. Let me let y'all hear how eloquent she speaks. Let, these are her daily affirmations. When you want this to be your daughter? Like you has been shaken to the top, floating on the surface, waiting to be collected like the cream of the crop. You're glowing like gold mine, even in dim light. Promise that it's mine. You look like coins I can bathe in, like a happiness that's fleeting, but joy built a house that stood over 100 years strong. You look like you make home. Like foundations laid and fell, you built them back up through a gold mine, reparations to the broken. Here's for reconstruction. You look like human that has been shaken to the top, floating on the surface, waiting to be collected like you hit it. You're glowing like gold mined, even in dim light. Promise that it's mine. You look like coins I could bathe in. Like a happiness that's fleeting. But joy built a house that stood over 100 years strong. You look like you make home. Like foundations laid and fell. You built them back up through a gold mine. Reparations to the broken. Here's for reconstruction. Here's for reconstruction. Come on, sweetheart. Hmm. Let's get into this. Thank you, goals. Period. Yes. Thank you. Child, let me tell y'all. Wouldn't you just want that to be your daughter so far? Um... We finna start this story. It's heavy. I ain't gonna lie. It's heavy. It's heavy. So I want y'all to get ready. It's heavy. Now, she's not talking directly to me. She just decided to create a video. She just decided to create a video. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, Cinnabunny. Thank you, boo. And, um... She created the video and, and um, let's go. She created this video on yesterday. Where you been at, Noni? You been hiding behind your misery? Hiding. Scared to go live. Scared to go live. Morning, babe. Let's go. Hola, como esta? I'm going to release a series of short stories as time goes on, maybe for the next month, maybe for the next week, who knows. But I've been doing a lot of reflecting, and I realize I just never tell my story, ever. And part of it is because I don't want to sit down and run through the entire thing in like one sitting wait this is titled i gave my mother away at prison uh, a i guess stepfather 
who uh, technically now is an ex-con. Um, we did not know him before my mother married him. She married him when I was 11. And the way that we met him was in the prison. So we used to take these trips. Sometimes we would go to hospitals. Um, <laughs> and we go to the hospital mainly so that my mom could refill prescriptions for a chronic 35-year uh, back ache and, and knee ache and whatever other ache um, that they prescribe opioids for. And when we went to... She gonna talk about the dude in jail, baby, like right now. Time. Like, yay! You know, it's just the emergency room point. right in the next town because we're from a really small town. The next hospital is in the next town. So she'd be like, oh, you guys... I think I'm going to go to the hospital. So me and my little brother would be like, yay, hospital, hospital, yeah. Right? Because going to the hospital means, oops, I shook my phone too much. Going to the hospital meant coffee. <laughs> we didn't ever have coffee in the house. We were allowed to drink coffee at that age, but we never had coffee in the house. Um, so it was exciting because we could go into the waiting room and make our little coffee with the stirs and all that stuff. Another exciting trip was the prison, right? And it's exciting because it's like, we live in a country town, so nothing really had metal detectors. Nothing had, um, I probably didn't see a metal detector until my first trip to a prison. So nothing other than like in movies. Nothing had metal detectors. Um, we would go with these sandwich baggies and everything was clear. There was this cute little clear bag. So anything that we needed and all of the like coins, it'd just be a whole bunch of quarters, right? So that whoever we were visiting could eat out of the vending machine. So we would go with these quarters in this clear bag like, yeah, prison time, prison time, let's go. Now you would think that young kids, we've seen prison movies, we've seen, I saw Shawshank, okay? You would think <laughs> that you know that there's the potential for, you know, murderers and robbers and violent, dangerous people in this prison. I don't know, we maybe we weren't conscious of it. I was 11 and younger. 11. Brother, when I was maybe nine or eight. So I'm just like, hey, prison time. But the first guy that I remember, I know we visited other people. Um, those are probably people we actually knew. But the first guy that I remember going to see consistently, his name was Mario. He claimed to know my mom through somebody okay. else. Um, so there was like a, a mutual friend or whatever. And he was like, oh, yeah, I remember back in the day, we used to go to the such and such. He mentions a club and or a bar. And we used to kick it and we used to be out here. And Noni's daughter. Da -da -da -da. And remember, and he just daughter. started naming off people. And he sent her like this I don't want to show her now. With his picture on it in the shape of a heart that he had made in prison shop class. So it was like it had her name on it and all that. So it was like real cool. It was like, okay, dude, don't put some liqueur on the prison shot box. All right. So we're going to go see dude. So we go. It's exciting. <laughs> and every time after that, it's exciting. Um, Very well spoken. I, conversations Very were had in front of me that, that I may not good. have needed to be privy to. But in that time frame, I recall her saying something about the guy wanting her to sneak drugs in. I think statute of limitations is up, maybe, for that. There may not be one. Either way, if they investigated it, they won't find nothing, so it'll be all right. Nobody's incriminated here. But there was a point where she was sneaking drugs in to the prison, and I guess she was sneaking it in in her crack or in her booty. I don't know, something to that effect, booty right? Booty but he wanted her to do more and to do it in another manner. I think that was probably a little more invasive. And she was talking to somebody and she was like, girl, uh-uh, because -uh, da-da-da-da-da-da-da. He didn't want me to do this, right? So around the same time, we're visiting this same dude. And <laughs> my little brother, Zachy Packy Wacky. Okay, Zach, 
is over in this corner where there's like this mural or whatever because you know every person got the little corner for the kids mm -hmm. and it's got like the little disney characters painted on the wall and stuff um and they Try got a, a vhs and a little tv the little box tv don't nobody ever see those anymore um and we're over there i'm watching zach now all of a sudden this negro again i'm at least i'll say nine or ten by this time zach walks up i guess to the friendliest person that he saw i didn't see friendly and he's patting this dude zach's like knee high to the man he's patting the guy on the thigh hey Hey, with a VHS in his hand. Hey, for those of you who don't know, that's that's the tape that that's how I used to watch movies before DVDs. You know about DVDs before Netflix and Hulu. Um, so he's like, hey, 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 can you put can you put this in here? And I caught him, and I ran up and I grabbed him. I grabbed his, and I said, we don't know these people. Don't you be talking to nobody in here. Get back here. And the dude, he had his arms crossed. He's looking down at me. He was laughing. He, 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 he. he had all these goals in his mouth, right? Arms just busting out the seams. And in that moment, I looked over to where my mother was sitting with the other prisoner. And I saw her lock eyes on this prisoner that was now about to put the tape in for my little brother. And he was just like, dreamy. Love at first sight. So I'm like, bro, next thing you know, now we're going to go visit this dude. Now this is this is prison bay. We're going to go visit dude, and we're going to see him. I had already be eleven by that time, so maybe I was ten before that. Um, but if you ever wonder why I don't like, I don't mind public speaking, especially when it comes to ministering. I do that publicly and with fervor, uh, because whether you question it or not, by way of the spirit. Um, I've always been generally a shy person, but another thing is I just don't like the spotlight. I don't like attention and there's probably a multitude of stories that go into that. But here's a piece of it. When we would go to these prisons, she would make me sing this song to the prisoners. It was called Jesus name above all name. Now, Jesus name above all names. They made me sing it at the church like every Sunday. Sometimes I didn't mind. Then I started getting picked on by the choir director's daughter for it. And then I didn't want to do it no more. Um, <clears throat> but, and for a number of other things. So I just didn't, I didn't want the attention. Because if the attention comes with bullying, I don't this want it. This is Noni's daughter. Anybody so just coming in. Time, my mom would make me sing the song. To every, that's how I know it was somebody before Mario. Because it was like at least three different people I had to sing the song to. It was like a, a show, uh, a pony trick. Like she didn't want me to sing any other time. But I was supposed to sing this song on command when we went to the prison. Jesus, name above all names. You can call it a crack if you want to. But I'm going to share my story. So a lot has happened. Um, <laughs> so I would have to sing this song. And because I would have to sing the song, I just, any love I have for singing for real, I kind of just started stuffing oh, yeah. it back in. I really didn't start singing again until I was like, girl, in college. There was a minister. She was a, uh, she was mm. a pastor, but she was also the librarian mm. Mm. at our university. She was like, do you ever sing? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, you know, you seem to make yourself feel better. And, da -da -da -da. and that's when I started again. She had a people um, there. But anyway. They tried to the help her. But, huh? but anyway, that that was something. That was an activity that went on there. Mm. So, you know, it was, it was interesting. I told you. When, girl, I was up all night. When you think about all of it. Um, and you start trying to dig and, and look back and see, you know, what is this related to? Girl. <laughs> Um, but yeah, continuing on. So we switched prisoners. We went to go visit we the switched other prisoner. prisoners. So while we're visiting the other prisoner, um, it's like maybe three months in. I'm gonna say about three months in, and they're like, We're getting married. So my grandma, my grandpa, they warn her. I 
don't do it for obvious reasons. She would ask me, what do you think? On multiple occasions. And every time, I don't know yeah, why, because I was kind of a smart kid. Currently. But every time I'd be like, I don't Wait think it's going to work. Prisoner, she's <laughs> and she'd, be like, he is. she'd be like, you're just saying that because mama and daddy are it's saying like, that. And I'd be like, no, I'm saying that because it's common sense. It's heavy, <laughs> y'all. It's heavy. And then I just get beat down. So it's like, I get to beat down every time, but I keep saying the same thing. Why am I doing that? It's like truth. Just It just be coming out my mouth for no reason. Just shut up girl um but yeah so she used to beat me because i said that it wouldn't go work with the man after she asked me um and there were times even in the prison there was one particular time Mm -hmm. fuck i don't click that of it but listen Hmm. a lot of times this happens in households where the mother is don't know how to be a mother and treating the child like they got two relationships like you my friend i need your advice should i date should i marry the man in prison like how do you lean on a 9 10 11 year old whatever age she was i don't care who wants to be specific about what age she was why do you need this minor child to help you make a bad decision Why do you need this minor child to help you fuck up? Girl, we got to go back. I don't know how to pause it on IG. Um, So we're going to have to rehear it. Okay, unless it let me start back where we were. But I done fucked up and hit the wrong shit. This so deep, y'all. Why do you keep coming in here? Why do you keep coming in here? I want you to stay out of here. I wish I could really like keep you out of here some kind of way. (coughs) Very deep. Very. Just, but it seemed like it keep, it only mutes it. It's already, let me just save it to my, I, I got the saved part. I was just playing it off her page. Girl. I, I got the screen recorded because we're going to have this video forever and I'm going to replay it. I'm going to replay it, Margo. I'm going to replay it every chance I get to remind her who that we know who she is. It ain't nothing we had to make up because we don't sit over here lying on people making up shit about people. We are not bashing her. Um, no, Travel Bay. That's why I said I don't want her to come here. I don't want to show her name. I don't want nobody messing with her. She do not deserve that. This baby done been through a lot. She telling her own story. She does not need an interview. Hmm. Thank God. I know what you're saying, baby. I know what you're saying. Thank God this little girl, even at that young age, had more sense than her mama. Didn't I say she was a strong young lady, Lisa? And just in that few minutes of us, we ain't met her personally. But in this first few minutes of her story, you already can tell. And mind you, this is just a 40, 50 minute video. Exactly. Break this down, Noni. The breakdown. That's what I should have called today's show. The breakdown. The mommy dearest edition. (laughs) Unbelievable. All right. Let's start over. Hola. Mind you, this video was made 17 hours ago. This is not an old video at all. I don't know how, and I'm a mess up. I don't know how to change it. This video is 17 hours ago. Yes. Yesterday. You can slide the bar at the bottom. She telling her truth. 
it is. I told y'all it was heavy. I could I didn't even go to sleep last night. Y'all probably thought I got off of here and crashed. Mm -mm, girl, I said right here. I listened to her video. And I sat right here and I cried and I thought and cried and thought and I kept thinking. But you said you wasn't going to touch this. You said no months and months ago, probably eight months ago, six months ago. I don't know how long ago it was, but I said no. <sighs> I said no. <clears throat> but what made me even check it last night? And yesterday she had posted these in the in the chat. She was willing to come do an interview, but I think maybe she might have needed money or something like that. And I don't want her over here in this shit. Um, period message, yo. I don't want her over here in this shit. Cause this this ain't this not her. Um let's get back into this this uh this video. I'm cold. I need let me get me a blanket. I'm cold. <clears throat> Girl, this so goddamn deep. Whew. Child, when I tell you this here, it's so deep. <sighs> and I ain't cutting off that air pooty. <laughs> we still need that air blazing. Let him hate. Let him hate. He can say whatever he want. This the real breakdown over here, baby. <laughs> he can say whatever he want. You next, nigga. <laughs> you next, nigga. Every one of y'all that have harassed my daughter, fuck with me in any kind of way, I don't care. I know vengeance is mine, said the Lord. But honey, God, I've been letting God guide my steps. And when he told me, I got you. I got you for them. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So I'm going to do it in such a way. I don't need you. I don't need to do it like you do it. But it's going to get done. Okay, because if it was Noni, she'd have had my daughter up here, but my daughter not going. Okay, and even if my daughter was to come over here, baby, these not the stories. But I'm not here to compare my daughter's life with this young lady life. I'm not here to compare my uh, motherhood to Noni's. That's not what this about. This your day, Noni. This your moment right here to shine, pootie. And we see you just for who you is. Good morning, Tommy. Hey. Tommy, I love you. I love everything you stand for. You have yet to motherfucking show these hoes that you will forever be the realest bitch on these Bego streets. They can't handle you. They can't take you. And that's why I love you. Because these hoes need something they can't take. Because they take advantage of the things they can take. So stay on these hoes neck. Keep doing your big one. And as we all know, Tommy K, keep the motherfucking calm because she is the queen of Bego. Bow down, hoes. Bow Thank down. you, boo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey, message. I just want to say, I'm sorry. What? Hey, Tommy K. I'm sorry for what happened to a girl, but I'm so glad that you waking it up on this bitch because she sit around here and talk about everybody, kids, and this and that, and how bad a mother you are. And bitch, you had your motherfucking daughter in a motherfucking prison all motherfucking night and all day. You sorry ass bitch. Yeah. Thank you, Tommy K. And even mothers like Messy Joe. We talk shit about Messy Joe, but Messy Joe in there with them kids. Messy Joe do her best every motherfucking day. That's what matter. Ain't not a joke, a joke we could crack that could fuck with that. Okay? Ain't a joke we could crack. We could, we could do our little joke and joke. She in there every day. And it's a lot of us doing the best we can every day. Every day. We ain't perfect. Nobody is. She's sitting over there right now, titty swinging. Junior running through the house, ain't got no shirt on, feet black.
but they love each other up in there, babe. I bet you she got a pot on up in there. I bet you ain't no nigga over in there over them kids. I bet you she putting them kids first. <laughs> Message her, you know, I'm just talking. But I'm just saying, no, none of us is perfect. Nobody. But you do the best you can. This, and we ain't even got into it, y'all. We ain't even got into it. This wasn't even trying. We finna play the goddamn video. Somebody in the comments, play the video. <laughs> I seen you. The all day. <sighs> oh, baby. We're not playing the fucking video. We gonna stay in the queue, mad ass ho. Go ahead, call her. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, Tommy. Good morning, babe. Tommy, I just called to say something very quickly. Um, I don't want you to apologize, and I don't want you to feel guilty. The Lord moves in a serious way. This was planted in your hand for a reason, and it was you. It could have gone to anyone else, but it went to you because you are the one they targeted. How dare someone stop your daughter to the point where they're sure have been her court date in another state? Yeah. And why would you bring this to the forefront since God put it in your lap? Allow God to use you. Continue to allow him to use you. And play the damn tape. That's right. Yes, ma'am. All right, baby. All right. You. Love you, too. That little girl just hits my daughter. I don't enable her. So I'm Johnny on the motherfucking spot. Jackie here. Jackie. Hey, that Tommy K. I just had to come over and make sure everybody know that it's a locker on the TRC. I know right now you got Tamla Man, bitch ass over there to telling the video on that page. And Tamla Man ain't never been Tommy K on this bitch. That bitch is a whole locker P. Tommy K is a real bitch, my baby Shell. Shell Jackson from Atlanta, Georgia, my Etheridge. I'm a Shell. This my sister in law. And we don't do no fuck here on the Tala. We tummy cats slide holes on the beach. We all keys are the G O C O street. And guess what? Yeah, no. Real P Pastor P. We tell a mega church on this hole. We all on that thing down Kalango on Dollar P. We don't do no fuck shit on each other. Love your tummy cat. I'm sitting in the dock. Yeah. You know we finna load asses up. So I'm out here in the back getting ready to get caught up on hey. you over here. So hey. go ahead and slow up coat. And I just want <laughs> I just want you to know. Tommy K go down when we do bitch, I do court and I come over here and low down in the hall hole and do court over here on Tommy K because she hold it down for me during the day. So don't think if I don't dip on asses, you don't come in my life. Mm. Oh baby, we hold hold on your ass, baby. I get you too. So don't think yourself nowhere trolling in no comments being a fuck nigga. Cause we don't do that over here. Not no never. Now like I said, y'all better tap me up and get my level right. Because when I don't make no money on this bitch, it's a problem. And I get paid first. So y'all better come dip on my goddamn page and hit my fucking beans up. And y'all better hit my car shop up. And that's on the lip for real. That part. And she said, no, no, no. Baby, and Jack about to be the to be go. Baby. <laughs> she about to cool the mama pat, baby. I Ain't nobody pat their pussy in public. Don't, like don't this. repost her, y'all, because she gonna get y'all page being um she gonna get y'all Facebook being she gonna have all your they don't play that on Facebook when y'all post Jackie. So don't post her in the group or nothing. Oh. Like nothing like that. Okay. But um ain't Jackie a, a jailbird lover too? Don't she be having mama? No, 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 this is only that we finna do that to Jackie today. We all know this ass. But we back to know me. We all know me. Yeah, I'm stuck on that. You know. All right. Let's get back to this. <laughs> you big Doug. Um, this is deep. It's deep. It's so deep. I wonder why I'm so. Hey, sister. Hey, baby. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. You're going through it. 
you be all right. I just want to say, and they say, yes, I'm married, Gap, uh-huh. That is oh, my husband, and all those women on here married. And Cody married, Pastor P married, Tommy K married. I don't think Jeffrey got no page on here. But yeah, we all married and got fun-ass husbands. And the Carrie, the one that you saw, ain't her husband, trust me. We all got fine as men, and they all are, and we are too. So, y'all, let it all be known, bitch. Everybody's married when you see them on this bitch. So, don't holler and cut it wife on here, too, Mona. And don't do it, hoes. That poor wife. Jackie is here for the show, Pooty. Hey, now. Hello, good morning. How are you doing? I am so happy that you clocked this noni tea. Baby, we cannot stand her raggly ass with that camera up in her face, all on them crusty ass lips. I'm glad you clocked that tea. And guess what? We gon' goddamn give it to the way she needs to be given to. You understand that? Right. Yes, ma'am. Girl. So Jeffrey is my husband. Whew. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? We got to get back in serious mode, honey. Mm, my God. Y'all got to get back. Baby, this some deep. Hey, Tommy. I, I just want to say from I from love you. you. <laughs> and you doing your damn thing. And you better work, Noni. You better work her on T. Your loyalty. That's right. Hey, thank you. When I seen this, they, they texted me, put it on do not. Oh, gosh. Girl, hey. hey Tommy, I ain't, I ain't trying to run your room, but hey, miss, can y'all kick every motherfucker that come in this box? We can't even make it through the goddamn video because y'all keep coming up here. We closing the box after you. We closing the box. The box is closed. Ain't nobody getting up unless they Jesus Christ. Okay? Unless Jesus himself hit that box, I'm not letting you up. Okay? Let's get to the video. Let's get back in the mold so we can focus on uh, this young lady here. Okay? Now, oh, girl, this is so deep. This is it's really a lot. It's a lot to unpack, baby. Little mama. Ugh, okay, Pootie. Okay. They let's go. They ready. Only Jackie. Okay. Only Jackie will be the one to get up. Let's go. Oh, Esther. I'm gonna release a series of short stories. This is Noni's daughter. I don't wanna show her name. Time goes on, maybe for the next month, maybe for the next week, who knows? But I've been doing a lot of reflecting, and I realize I just never tell my story, ever. Uh, excuse me, uh, doll face, um, love, we're going to go ahead and expose your name and who you are, because you damn sure don't look like that uh, uh, person. You are... Um, your name is Andrea Jackson. You was raised with, um, you know, when they see over here, Tommy K on that fake page when it was over here. Yeah, she's the bitch that brought that Janice, um, oh God, Janice Argon. That's her name. She used to James Cleveland that she claimed. That's the bitch that Ashanti, uh, I'm sorry, that Noni and Andrea Jackson got together with. They're actually Shilaka twins. Andrew and they know that. Sister, They're twin is sisters. Andrew my sister? Two big dolivas. Huh? Is Andrea my sister? Hell no. Andrea ain't no kidding. You, Tommy K, the real Tommy K? No. Tommy K, Michelle Jackson um, from Atlanta? No. You're no kin to them whores. They were playing on your page when you got off. When we were doing business, how we were doing business, because you know Tommy K, Michelle, we were doing business, right? When you all got off, I was the only person online, and they all came and jumped on y'all pages. And God Zeus came 
and threw a fucking uh mat uh what is that uh what a picture of mine of a fat ass white a fat ass light skinned girl which was uh Tamala Man and everybody was wondering why the picture with the person looked like you over here but the picture on it was mine and I didn't know when the goddamn fly by night was looking we was trying to figure out why the Tommy K page every time I went live it was all on my window doing too much that's how we knew Boo Boo was on the Never got, but yeah, baby, you straight in hell. You see, this one here don't be doing all that looking. She smokes cigarettes, that lad know, but she see what I'm saying. You don't see her chain smoking in dollar lot all during the day, so that's how y'all dummies ought to know a fake it take from a real old. All right, cause my boo, all of y'all, she be clean. She ain't no nasty bitch. She get up and clean her ass every day. I don't know about the dirty bitches that's over there. And I ain't never seen that bitch bathroom look like nothing that I seen on the house not dirty. Because I sit up in her shit all the time. And I stay night over there. So you can lil it up on that and stop lying, baby. We gonna clear this one here up today. This is the real Tommy K on her, 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 her name on the internet, baby. But that's Shell, baby. I call her Shell. Baby, and I'm Reese. So slow me on the road and y'all get y'all asses down because y'all ain't hitting no shit. And hell no, we don't fuck with Trina B. Hell no. We don't fuck with Trina B. No, don't, no, no not no, never. No. And Charlie with Charlie, the Charlie over there with the T, that's my son AJ. Okay. AJ, my twin son with my daughter Mama. And my Aaliyah the dog on there is Mars. Mas, both of them on Mas. Aaliyah the doll is Shalia, mama. And I'm a busser to the grip mitt with my mama. But my mama, Cynthia Burris, over there in the house playing. And that's what Red 39 was going over there to be with them. Red 39, I don't know shit. She all look out with us uh, too. And I'm a Leo, and I'm going to get on up out of him, baby. Because we doing right now. And that's Sherry. Let's ride. I'm not no more, okay? Let's get through. Let's ride. I'm not, okay? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so my... Y'all got me in silly mode. I was in my zone. Hmm. Child. Ooh. Y'all can't resolve, child. Okay, we're not doing no more. No more. No more pooty. You want to work in a nursing home? Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm not. We're not doing no more cute pooty. <sighs> Love you too, Princess 420. It's a very serious matter. It's a very serious matter. It is. Y'all know Jackie gone. I don't, we resetting. Thank you. Let's reset. Let's reset. Okay. We're playing the video. Okay. Let's get it back together. Get all the get all that smile and shit off. Get it off. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Um. <clears throat> oh. 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 Let children, if, if, while you keep trying to help, all you have to do is tell her, yes, she stayed over. I allowed her to play with my children, but I... Oh, girl. Anyway, let's get to some real tea. Not no made up shit. Real tea. <clears throat> okay. Um. We don't have to make up things on people. You know, stuff just really fall in our lap, okay? To make up lies and to be still carrying this on is ridiculous. Okay? It's ridiculous. <clears throat> okay? It's really sad. But let's go. Let's get back to this real shit. We ain't no lies. No, no need to add in anything or take anything away. You know? Why you about to miss? You got a meeting. I'll replay it later. I promise. Because we've we been BSing. I'll play it later too. After your meeting.
We're going to play this a couple of times like they do. Hola, como esta? I'm going to release a series of short stories as time goes on, maybe for the next month, maybe for the next week, who knows. But I've been doing a lot of reflecting, and I realize I just never tell my story, ever. It's some people that didn't part of it is because I don't want to sit down and run through the entire thing in like one sitting. However... I think I can manage to this just tell a couple me. of short stories. Y'all hear it? So. Y'all, anybody that has not been here, this is Noni's daughter. This is Noni's daughter, who in this video was made 17, 18 hours ago now. Okay? This is Noni's daughter. Um, and this ain't everything, y'all. She telling us, she, she just going to give a couple of short stories. Okay, this ended up being like 40 something minutes. Uh, thank you, babe. Okay, yes, Trina, you perfect timing. Okay, um, it's deep. Okay, hola, como esta? I'm gonna release a series of short stories as. Time goes on, maybe for the next month, maybe for the next week, who knows. But I've been doing a lot of reflecting, and I realize I just never tell my story, ever. And part of it is because I don't want to sit down and run through the entire thing in like one sitting. However... Anybody just joining us, we are listening to Noni's Daughter. This is a video. Um, Noni daughter is unpacking some things about in her life. Hey, Grandma D. She's unpacking some things and she says she never gets to tell her story. She's never told her story. It's a very deep story. I'm very serious. And let me start because we do have quite a few. This is a very short clip um, that I have. Um, where she's actually filming Noni. Um, I do want everybody to see that. She saw some... Jackie? Jackie? Not right now, Pootie. Noni was... What's going on, sweetie? Okay, I know you can already play the video. And I'll go ahead and get a fuller story on the other parts of what you're going to play. The thing with Ashley, while we don't act, fuck with Ashley trying to read. Or that big fat funky ass H-N-I-C. Because they're all... They're all a fiance. Ashley was a nun. Her name was Laura. And she actually had a sister named Della that was married to my cousin, uh, Tony Powell in Atlanta, Georgia. And they actually lived out in, uh, oh, I can't think of the area they lived in right now. But they lived out up in the, in the mountains, like in Atlanta. They lived in the outskirts. Mm -hmm. And her sister, Laura, actually had a thing for my um for the Micah Henderson, the one that was claiming to be my husband. She had a thing for him thinking that he was my husband and didn't know that she was onto the wrong one. So she always had beef for me after I exposed them on um uh, on Periscope for being in my house or trying to scam houses with Nessa and they weren't supposed to. And they were running around doing all of that. And actually, I was the one who went and evicted them out of the house and left Arlene Big Eyes sitting in the, gar in the garage on those two buckets. One bucket she sat her fat ass on and one bucket that she fucking shitted in. And that was never a lie. So, yeah, that's it. And Nessa Poo, yeah, that's the Kleaki bitch and eviction queen. All of them were the Hiaki bitches that was running around selling and being in people's houses with the dirty ass bitches that was doing it. So, yeah, we're going to make sure we clear Michelle Jackson's name, Mickey. And we're going to make sure we clear Cynthia Powell, the Cynthia Jackson Powell, Cynthia Denise Jackson Powell's name as well. We're not going to put anything on Helen Zanders, as well as Karen Jackson. And we're definitely not going to put Eddie Ruth Jackson in anything because those are outstanding citizens of Oakland, Florida. 
as well as Zander's Funeral Home has always been an outstanding location to do that here. And we are all family. So fuck it up on the lip and bespose Ashley and her mammy and all them Uncle Joe Dalavis that they are. Because their Uncle Joe is the Uncle Joe. But my Uncle Joe is my grandmother's brother. And the real, real Javari, he is a Milan from what he was actually on what in the hip hop of Atlanta? Yeah, that part. That's why nobody know that dark skin ugly bitch as anybody from there. And go ahead and wrap it up and pull your shit, Tommy K. Cause girl, I told you, man, you would always be a lakati on the focal on this shit. Go ahead, I'm gonna get back down and let you run your shit. And then I'll come tell the hosty story while you go tell the lolly part of her all baby. And we don't do tea, baby. We shade it out and lay it down and put give you a whole goddamn five course meal, bitch. It's fucked here. Real tea, we don't do boo boo. Blow a kiss back, honey. Her kiss over tank. She said, Baby, that kiss off. It ain't no love, you know. Love, you know. Jack be like, <laughs> Baby, let's go, please, child. Please. God knows I love you. God knows I do. But if you don't play that video, I'm going to come beat you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we covered. Let's play this video, yeah. We covered. We covered. <laughs> I just wanted to say this morning, Miss Tommy, and, uh, wait, hold on. Thank you, Sam. Like, Where are you at? Hi. I just wanted to come up here and say good morning to you. And you have the patience of an angel. Mm -hmm. And I just think it is so beautiful how you can allow someone to talk and, and do what they need to do. And it, it's so gorgeous. I, I absolutely love it. Um, and I just want to know what school her and Kayla and Stone went to to learn the Jamaican accent. But I am ready to enroll. Um, I need to switch up my voice a little bit. Okay. Y'all have a good one. You can switch that. Hey, this smoke, y'all. We back. Hey, how you doing, Good, uh, you. Man, get your ass down. Auntie says stay on track. Nobody in the queue. I don't give a damn if it's the Pope, the President, the motherfucking pastor. I don't give a damn. Get your ass down. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. Y'all stay. Come y'all. Big smoke. I, you know, Daddy, I've been looking for you, baby. Thank uh, you. Y'all check smoke. out two boxes. Y'all free gifts. Hey, Pootie, what hey. you had to eat today? I'm um, nothing yet. I mean, make sure you get you something to snack on and make sure you hydrate, girl. Okay. Yes. Man, I'm going to get some. Let's get through this video, y'all. For real. For real. The people is getting mad, baby. They had they just throwing staplers and Bitch, I just got hit with a keyboard. They going crazy up there in that office. How do you turn off the box? Y'all ain't never showed me how to turn off no box. Hey, Tommy, I just want to come up here to make the comments, Meg. They pissed off. They like, get the fuck down. Oh, don't make them mad. <laughs> girl. girl, the wrong one, them heifers get mad. Ain't nothing I could do. Nothing. Thank you, boo. Um. Okay, let's get it together now, y'all. I'm not. I don't care who dying. I ain't letting them up. Come on, let's get to it now, for real, for real, for real now. We starting over. Anybody? Uh, just coming in. This is Noni's daughter, mommy dearest of Bigo. Um. No more wire hangers. No more wire hangers. She's one of them crazy, weird, nutty, dumb, just completely, girl, anything you could imagine. Okay. Okay, let's go. Como esta. Go. I'm going to release a series of short stories as time go. goes on, maybe for the next month, maybe for the next week, who knows. Let's go. But... I've been doing a lot of reflecting and I realize I just never tell my story ever 
And part of it is because I don't want to sit down and run through the entire thing. We're going to show the video with the mic. Like one sitting. However, so that, that make, that's I think I, I can stop. manage to just tell a couple of short stories. Restart? So, I yeah. have. Because we just started. You need a, to restart it. I guess stepfather who uh, technically now is an ex. Okay. Hey, we're gonna restart it and show the roaches because everyone wants to see the roaches. Let's show the so roaches because it's the shorter yeah, video, y'all. Yeah, it makes sense. To do that first. You can do this all day. You can do this commercial breaks and all that. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Okay. Let's show these. Let's. We got to get into the roaches. Seriously. It's the shortest video. Oh, no. Show these. Quick, and then we deal with Jack and then we move on. Uh, excuse me. Uh, MK Beer. Uh, Kevin Cooper, get your fat ass down and get your ass. You and Joe Shea, get y'all asses from on here trying to goddamn do too much. You bald head, Rose, uh, Rosemary Collins, and all y'all dirty ass bitches. None of y'all can't stay on Tatum Street, and I just evicted all of y'all. Get the fuck out. This would have laid down. <laughs> she ain't never gonna listen in while she pat her pussy. She would have laid down. Y'all got me so distracted. Okay. Oh, wait. Girl, this is a key here. <laughs> this is a key right here, child. Okay. Enough. Enough is enough. She got mad because I said I killed roaches. They're roaches. Look at all that money. You see her daddy? Because that's crazy. It's unsafe. It's unsafe. You killed three. And you just think that's the whole bunch of roaches. Have you seen it more today? All right. All right. Come over here. That's the reason why. Anybody going to fight you? You see the daddy? Anybody going to fight you? I overspawned what Vinny was saying. You overspawned what Vinny was saying? Yeah. Vinny said all that, talked yeah. all that mess to me, and then he was putting up a GoFundMe for his house. She got mad because I said I killed roaches. They're roaches. She got mad because I said I. Okay. Um, that's the roach one. <clears throat> um, I, sh I, I wanted to show that one, not to necessarily show it. Well, yeah, to show that there's roaches because Noni does a lot of talking. Like she's so clean as if when she leaves her phone laying like this, as if we don't see the goddamn nasty vent up there above her, wherever she be having her phone at in her room. As if we don't see how filthy, black, nasty, gritty, grimy, dirty that thing is. She's been thinking all along that we really think she padded homemaker. She really had the gall to really think that we thought she was padded. I ain't gonna let her. That she was padded homemaker. Not right now, Jack. You come up, let us get through the video, Pootie, and then we come up. Um, that's the Roach video. Um, she's now Rochiana. That's Roach Bay, number two. Um, okay. Um, so we all recognize that little cabinet. So 
That video was actually um, this week. You can see the hair. You see the red hair. Um, I just want y'all to know this is current. This not nothing that's 20 years ago. Uh, some made up ass shit. Somebody done made it up. We finna get to the daughter's portion. Gary, we got to get you up here a little later, Pootie. Not right now. Um, now we're going to get to the daughter's video. Okay. I'm not going to pause this video. I want y'all to listen because we done spent a lot of time already. I'm not going to pause it. I'm going to just let it play. She said, now if I come over there and break your phone, you're going to want to fight. Exactly. Scary bitch. And that's why the daddy was standing down there at the bottom of the stairs. Did you see dad standing up? Had she been having these people think daddy couldn't walk? No. She said, no, daddy. Yes. Daddy was standing right there like, as like you know, he wanted to make sure he was doing this to Noni. Telling her to go on, on up the stairs. Gone on up the stairs. So how was he standing there doing this? Did y'all see that? Oh, bon quick, quick. What are you talking about, girl? Bedridden. But how was he standing? She's lying. All right, we get into the, now the daughter. She's doing um, just a, a video. She looks like she does say in the video, you're going to hear her say that she outside of her grandparents' house. Um, I came late live today because um, I went on ahead. Now, y'all know I was supposed to, I told y'all, I had an opportunity to interview this girl months ago. But I didn't take I didn't take it take her up on it. <clears throat> okay. Um but here we go. This deep line, be ready. This is trigger Hola. a trigger warning. Trigger warning. I'm gonna release a series of short stories. It was time now. Because that yes. gave her time to leave me alone. Time and goes on. Did. Maybe for the next month, maybe for the next week, who knows? But I've been doing a lot of reflecting. And I realized I just never tell my story, ever. And part of it is because I don't want to sit down and run through the entire thing in like one sitting. However, I think I can manage to just tell a couple of short stories. So, I have a, I guess, stepfather who, uh... Technically now is an ex-con. Uh, we did not know him before my mother married him. She married him 
when I was 11. And the way that we met him was in the prison. So we used to take these trips. Sometimes we would go to hospitals. Um, <laughs> and we go to the hospital mainly so that my mom could refill prescriptions for a chronic uh, 35 year back ache and, and knee ache and whatever other ache um, that they prescribe opioids for. And when we went to these hospitals, it'd be like fun time, like, yay, you know, it's just the emergency room, right? In the next town, because we're from a really small town, the next hospital is in the next town. So she'd be like, oh, you guys, I think I'm going to go to the And I believe she still currently is. hospital so me and my little brother would be like oh, yay hospital hospital yeah right because going to the hospital means oops i shook my phone too much going to the hospital meant coffee <laughs> we didn't ever have coffee in the house we were allowed to drink coffee at that age but we never had coffee in the house um so it was exciting because we could go into the waiting room and make our little coffee with the stirs and all that stuff. Another exciting trip was the prison, right? And it's exciting because it's like, we live in a country town, so nothing really had metal detectors. Nothing had- um, Another exciting, who is this lady? This is Noni's daughter. Anybody just coming in? Hey, Lady Spirit, this is Noni's daughter. This is Noni's daughter who is talking about her childhood. This go crazy, Pootie. This go crazy, Pootie. This is Noni's beautiful, well-spoken daughter, smart young lady who just wants to tell her story as we hear in the earlier, in the very, we just started it, the very beginning of the video, she says it. Hey, King Philly. I probably didn't see a metal detector until my first trip to a prison. So nothing other than like in movies. Nothing had metal detectors. Um, we would go with these sandwich baggies and everything was clear. There was this cute little clear bag. So anything. Imagine that being your two, I guess, most, I don't know, memorable moments or activities the hospital so your mom can get her pain medication an opioid which i'm sure um and then 35 years years ago 35 years ago noni says she's what 47 how old does Noni say she is? So 35 years ago, how old do Noni say she is? is she, did she say she was 50 yet? 51? Okay. So 35 years ago, she's been on the opioids. See, this makes us understand why she's still at home, why she can't leave dad's house. As you further hear what this young lady is saying, um, not that it's right, but you see the the you can you can tell some wrong in the house. You can tell something wrong in the house. This is not on YouTube. This exclusive baby. This exclusive baby. This exclusive that we needed and all of the like coins, it'd just be a whole bunch of quarters, right? So that whoever we were visiting could eat out of the vending machine. So we would go with these quarters in this clear bag, like, yeah, prison time, prison time, let's go. Now you would think that young- While we listen, y'all, everybody listen to our dollar. It's 5,000 of us here, Pastor P81, Send your dollar, babe. I'm not going to unmute it no more. Pastor P, can I get the admins to share that? Pastor P, 81. Send your dollar to P 
Sing what you yes, can sing. Yes, we've seen prison movies. We've Pass seen the I saw oh, Shawshank. Yeah. Okay, you would think <laughs> that you know that there's the potential for <laughs> you know murderers <laughs> and robbers and violent, dangerous people in this prison. I don't know. We well, maybe we weren't conscious of it. I was 11 and younger. Probably the first time we went, I was maybe nine or eight. So I'm just like, hey, prison time. But the first guy that I remember, I know we visited other people. Um, those are probably people we actually knew. But the first guy that I remember going to see consistently, his name was Mario. He claimed to know my mom through somebody else. Um, so there was like a, a mutual friend or whatever. And he was like, oh, yeah, I remember back in the day, we used to go to the such and such. He mentions a club and or a bar. And we used to kick it and we used to be out here. And remember, and he just started naming off people. And he sent her like this jewelry box with his picture on it in the shape of a heart that he had made in prison shop class. So it was like it had her name on it and all that. So it was like real cool. It was like, okay, dude, don't put some liqueur on the prison shot box. All right. So we're going to go see dude. So we go. It's exciting. <laughs> and every time after that, it's exciting. Um, I Conversations were had in front of me that, that I may not have needed to be privy to. But in that time frame, I recall her saying something about the guy wanting her to sneak drugs in. I think statute of limitations is up, maybe, for that. There may not be one. Either way, if they investigated it, they won't find nothing, so it'll be all right. Nobody's incriminated here. But there was a point where she was sneaking drugs in to the prison, and I guess she was sneaking it in in her crack or in her booty. I don't know. Something to that effect, right? But he wanted her to do more and to do it in another manner. I think that was probably a little more invasive. And she was talking to somebody and she was like, girl, uh-uh, cause da 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 And he didn't want me to do this, right? So around the same time, we're visiting this same dude. And <laughs> my little brother, Zachy Packy Wacky. Zach is over in this corner where there's like this mural or whatever. Cause you know, every prison got the little corner for the kids and it's got like the little Disney characters painted on the wall and stuff. Um, and they, I'm not disclosing her name. Got a, a VHS and a little TV, the little box TV. Don't nobody ever see those anymore. Um, and we're oh, over there. I'm watching Zach. Now, all of a sudden, this Negro, again, I'm at least, I'll say nine or ten by this time. Zach walks up, I guess at the friendliest prisoner he saw, I didn't see friendly, and he's patting this dude. Zach's like, knee high to the man. He's patting the guy on the thigh. Hey, hey, with a VHS in his hand. Hey, for those of you who don't know, that's, that's the tape that... I used to watch movies before DVDs, you know about DVDs, before Netflix and Hulu. Um, so he's like, hey, 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 can you put, can you put this in here? And I caught him and I ran up and I grabbed him, I grabbed his and I said, you don't know these people, don't you be talking to nobody in here, get back here. And the dude, he had his arms crossed, he's looking down at me, he was laughing, he, 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 he. he had all these goals in his mouth, right? arms just busting out the seams and in that moment i looked over to where my mother was sitting with the other prisoner and i saw her lock eyes on this prisoner that was now about to put the tape in for my little brother and he was just like dreamy love at first sight so i'm like bro next thing you know now we're going to go visit this dude now this is this is prison bay we're going to go visit dude and we're going to see him I had already be 11 by that time. So maybe I was 10 before that. Um, but if you ever wonder why I don't like, I don't mind public speaking, especially when it comes to ministering. I do that publicly and with fervor uh, because whether you question it or not, by way of the spirit. Um, I've always been generally a shy person. But another thing is I just don't like the spotlight. I don't like attention. 
and there's probably a multitude of stories that go into that but here's a piece of it when we would go to these prisons she would make me sing this song to the prisoners it was called jesus name above all name now jesus name above all names they made me sing it at the church like every sunday sometimes i didn't mind then i started getting picked on by the choir director's daughter <coughs> for it and then i didn't want to <coughs> um <clears throat> but and for a number of other things so i just didn't i didn't want the attention because if the attention comes with bullying i don't want it i don't want to do it no more That's why I'm not so we would go done. to this prison and my mom would make me sing the song to every that's how i know it was somebody before mario because it was like at least three different people i had to sing the song to it was like a, a show uh, a pony trick like she didn't want me to sing any other time but i was supposed to sing this song on command when we went to the prison Jesus, name above all names. You can call it a crack if you want to. Yeah, but I'm gonna share my story. So yeah, that has happened. Um, tell me up. <laughs> so I would have to sing this song, great. and because I would have to sing this song, I just any love I have for singing for real, I kind of just started stuffing it back in. I really didn't start singing again until I was like in college. There was a minister, she was a, uh, she was a pastor, but she was also the librarian at our university. She was like, do you ever sing? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, yeah, you know, you seem to make yourself feel better. And, da, 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 da. and that's when I started again. Um, but anyway. 18 hours ago. Huh? But anyway, that, yes, that was today. something, that was an activity that went on there. So, you know, it was, it was interesting when, when you think about all of it um, and you start trying to dig and, and look back and see, you know, what is this related to? Hmm. Um, but yeah, continuing on. So we switched prisoners. We went to go visit the other prisoner. So while we're visiting the other prisoner. Y'all caught that, right? The prisoner who Noni was making the goo goo eyes at, who the little boy was patting. Mister, Mister, can you help me put this VHS tape in? She sees, cause she's she's eleven, ten or eleven, and she 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 ain't stupid. These kids not dumb, okay? She sees her mom and this dude make goo goo eyes at each other, and now she already knew what was up. Mama finna start kicking it with him. So now they're getting into, she's getting into how now, prison swap, not switch. Now they're gonna, she's going into now them visiting the prisoner that helped her son. Noni was turned on by him um, because he had an inmate number and because he could help her son put a VHS tape in the tape player. Um... It's like maybe three months in. I'm gonna say about three months in. And they're like, we're getting married. So my grandma, my grandpa, they warn her, like, don't do it for obvious reasons. She would ask me, what do you think? I think, um, I don't know Missouri's law, but I think maybe she gets the, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, when you get married, can't you spend a night together? I don't know the word hell. Consummation or what is what is it called? Married. Conjugal. Thank you, ma'am. Conjugal visits. I just knew when you spend a night together. Don't you get the conjugal? I don't know if Missouri works that way, but uh, I could see her being, you know. Ain't no, I mean, who knocking her, who knocking down her door to hit her? Uh, but this ain't about that. We're going to get in that ass later. No conjugal visits in Missouri. Interesting. So one for the D. You got to be married. So she was marrying. Who is smooth? What do you mean? What you mean? 
Let's get through the video, y'all. I ain't taking no cue right now. We got to get to the video. Multiple occasions. And every time, I don't know why, because I was kind of a smart kid. But every time I'd be like, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> and she'd be like, she'd be like, you're just saying that because mama and daddy are saying that. And I'd be like, no, I'm saying that because it's common sense. <gasps> and then I just get beat down. So it's like I get to beat down every time, but I keep saying the same thing. So Noni would just beat her down, plummet her. The girl said, Buku? Because she's telling her, first of all, she's asking her her opinion. Then when she tells you the right thing, because she's smarter than you, even at 11 years old, she start beating her ass. Why am I doing that? It's like truth. Just It just be coming out my mouth for no reason. Just shut up, little girl. Um, but yeah. So she used to beat me because I said that it wasn't gonna work with the man after she asked me. Um, she and there were times me. even in the prison, there was one particular time he had transferred listen, to listen, a place called shit. Farmington. So I can't recall the one he was girl, at before. Listen to this shit. I don't know if there's a prison, uh, Missouri penitentiary in, where does that come from? I don't know if it's a Missouri penitentiary in uh, Moberly. But it's one of the ones. It wasn't that far from here. Yeah, I know that's where she was from. Mobile. And then when he transferred, we started going to Farmington. So Farmington, Missouri, that prison there. So as we're going to this Farmington prison, um, I'm paying attention to the guy at the neighbor's house. I guess they got working over there or something. <clears throat> but as uh, we're going to this Farmington prison, we're visiting dude and I guess that that's all there was for Noni to do in Moberly in that little small town was pop pills and uh date prisoners. It's a prison tour. Ugh. And like I said, they said they was gonna get married. And it was one time that she didn't bring my brother. And I'm sitting there at the table with her and the man and she had told me you're gonna give me away listen. and i'm like today the wedding day supposed to give you away listen i don't want to give you away you're gonna give me away so that was the conversation this the argument you would think i would just shut up i wasn't disrespectful but i was just like i don't want to be a part i, I don't want to be a part <laughs> i don't want to be a part this is this, this is creepy um but yeah, so you think I would shut up and stop expressing opinions, but I didn't. So she took me, uh, and then she asked me, what do you think about it? How do you think it's going to be? And me thinking I was protected, <laughs> I guess. Because you get beat every other time when you're at the house. Why do you think you're protected in the prison? The prison guards, maybe? Well, me thinking I was protected, I just said all out. He could be a murderer. You don't know how many bodies he's got. I probably didn't say it like that because I didn't have no no city lingo. I was from the country. I had not been to a city with a population over 2,000. I had not lived in one by that time. Um, <laughs> but I was like, you don't know how many bodies he's got. You know how many people he's killed. You don't know what this man was doing before he got in here. So no, please, mama, no. Please, mama, no, don't do it. Um, so... <laughs> So she grabs, snatches me up, takes me into the bathroom, beats the snot out of me, nose bleeding, tearing hair out the back of my head. My hair is all in the sink, right? Oh, this is a crazy story. Dang. I had therapy in my younger years, <laughs> and then I had therapy again uh, while I was in school, right before I got out of school, in fact. But oh, my therapist kept telling me about her daughter. So my daughter is just the same way. You know, you all are in similar stages in life. And I was like, lady, can I finish telling you my story first? Then you can talk about your daughter. It was free. <laughs> she didn't have her degree yet. She was really cool, though. She really was. And she was a woman of faith. She went to the Assembly of God Church. We bonded on that. Um, she understood the gifts, you know, well enough for me. I was cool with it. So I was like, you know, I'll talk to you. But she kept talking about her daughter, so I was just like, okay. That's the last time I went, I think. That was like 2018. 
But anyway, so we're visiting this prisoner. Uh, she asked me what I think is going to happen. I tell everything, snatches me up, takes me to the bathroom, feeds the mess out of me. I'm hollering loud. The only reason she stops is because the guard comes and bangs on the door. She says, man, you can't do that here. And she said, I'm, and the lady said, you can't do that here. And so she turned to me and it was like freaking what's love got to do with it? I kid you not. And I had, I had watched that movie over and over and over again as a kid. It was like, what's love got to do with it? She turned, she said, clean, now clean yourself up. <laughs> So, so I'm in here, I'm crying. I don't want the people to see me crying because I was that kid, right? I didn't like people seeing me cry at all, ever. Um, I have a hard time going to people when I'm crying. Uh, oh, but yeah, so just this is all just this? being brought back as crazy things happen. That's for sure. Um, But yeah, so the lady was like, yeah, you can't do that here. So she turned and she was like, clean yourself up. So now I'm in here. I'm splashing my face with cold water, <coughs> trying to get my eyes to not be red anymore um, or not red in any way and collecting my hair off the sink. <laughs> can I put it back? My kitchen didn't grow. For me. It's not funny, but it is. My kitchen didn't grow until I went natural. That's growing in the back of my head there was always like this middle patch this here's a funny story i'm not gonna say their names but i was in the system the foster care system this would be like maybe three years after this event i didn't get taken away until i went to jefferson city um and frankly she was so poised that they was like oh nothing's wrong she looks a little battered. Nothing's wrong, though. So they was going to send me back. I was like, nah. They was like, you don't want to go back for Christmas? Nope. I'm good. So she had called the police on me after she beat the mess out of me in Jeff City. And then they took me uh, to the juvie. She called the police on me and told them I did something to her. Didn't, obviously. Just if I had done something to her, I wouldn't be living. Uh, yeah, this is what I got for 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 just living and existing. Hey, let me put my hands on. Oh, I wouldn't have been living. Um so <laughs> going back to the to the prison based story or whatever whatever we call that man. Uh <clears throat> prison daddy. Oh, I say so yeah, to clean yourself up, I'm over here patting my head trying to hope it could grow it never did grow um so i was 11 then it didn't grow i went natural <sighs> my senior no 20 probably 2012 when i was out of high school then it started growing so you treat and damaged damaged scalp with creamy crack it wasn't growing. I didn't know no better um, until I knew better. But anyway, so <laughs> so I clean myself up or whatever. La di da. Time moves on. Um, short time after that, they get married there. They invite like the prison photographer. I guess he's like a guy. He had like a Polaroid camera to spit the the pictures out. You know, like that once you wave. Shake it like a Polaroid. Yeah, that one. And he took his pictures, and I was forced to walk her down the aisle and give her away to Prison Bay. Um, I think there's somebody else they called that, so I don't know. Uh, but I gave her away at 11 years old. I think, yeah, my brother was there for that. Um, she bought him, like, all his little gold rings and bought him some type of gold. I think it might have been gold-plated chain, but and they got a lot of gold jewelry. We had no clothes. But he had a lot of gold jewelry that she went and bought. Um, she said we ain't had no clothes, but he had a lot of gold jewelry. <laughs> no Listen. school supplies either, but he, but he had some gold jewelry. Did you hear? Uh, no school supplies either, but he had gold, gold jewelry. I think it might have been gold-plated chain, but and they got a lot of gold jewelry. 
we ain't had no clothes. We had a lot of gold jewelry that she went and bought. Um, and <laughs> we had no school supplies either, but, but he has a gold jewelry. Uh, <laughs> my grandparents, yeah, they bought the stuff. They bought the school supplies. At some point, she went off on them about where they decided to buy clothes at. One year, my grandma bought me JCPenney because uh, they had an outlet sale. I got fewer clothes than my brother. He got a whole bunch of clothes from Walmart. She went off because uh, I don't think I understood it then, but she's used to name brand. Like, that's what her and my aunt wore. They were very, very spoiled. This girl is so well spoken. She said, I don't think I understood it then because how you tripping off of what they buy us when you ain't buying us name brand? You're not buying us labels. Listen to how this girl talk, baby. Oh, um, so <laughs> she went off on my grandma. And Very they just stopped buying clothes and school supplies and all that other stuff. It's like you do it yourself since you got a problem. Her parents got sick of her. Since you got a problem with what we doing, do it yourself. <laughs> my grandparents, yeah, they bought the stuff. They bought the school supplies. At some point, she went off on them about where they decided to buy clothes at. One year, my grandma bought me JCPenney because uh, they had an outlet sale. I got fewer clothes than my brother. He got a whole bunch of clothes from Walmart. She went off because uh, yeah. I don't think I understood it then, but she's used to name brand. Like, that's what her and my aunt wore. They were very, very spoiled. Um, so <laughs> she went off on my grandma. And she said they were they spoiled. Just stopped the aunt buying and known clothes Not and school them. supplies and all that other stuff. It's like you do it yourself since she got a problem. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, they got married. Um, and that's really the short story. It's fairly short. Fast forward, though. I went into the system at, I first touched it at 13. She beat the mess out of me. They put me in a foster home for a night, and then they brought me back to my grandparents' house. Um... And then I went back with her not long after that, some months after that. And by that time I was 13, or no, I was 14. Um, I went back with her right before Thanksgiving. It might've even been the week of, no more than two weeks before. And no came back down here for Thanksgiving, went back to Jeff City, and went back to Jefferson City, Missouri, the capital. We went back to Jeff City, I was with her until, I think, December 1st. <laughs> Same pattern. Beat you up, tell you to get out. You sit on the front porch. I call the police, tell them you ran away, or tell them you hit me, or tell them you did something that, that you did not do. Um, some police will come out and they'd be like, oh, if you even left out the, out the door, then that means you ran away. I was like, she told me to leave. And they were like, I don't care. And then some people would be out there like, what the hell is going on? So you, you did, she, she told you to get out. You sit on the front porch. You don't you the run away. You don't want to run away. But you're on the front porch. I'm saying, I don't know. It's in the files. It's in the police reports. You can pull it up. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think it was by December 1st. That's when I went into the system for like five weeks. I stayed on the detention side because they were like, mm, you sure you don't want to go back? I'm like, I'm fine. She just stumped me in my, my stomach with both feet. Um, yeah. And, and held on. We had like a. You hear that? Listen. A hallway on Monroe Street. We actually live right up the street from the university band director for that little bit of time. Well, I did for the little bit of time I was there. She had actually moved to Jeff City without me. She moved because the prison guy, the husband, stepdad dude, he got transferred to Jeff City so that he could be closer to St. Louis because his people are in St. Louis. Right? His people in St. Louis. Um, <clears throat> so she, he transferred. She put me out one day. I started walking towards other towns, some irresponsible adult. That was one of my friend's uh, mother gave me a ride to the other town. I'm like, I think I was 12, 13 at that time. 
Um, I don't know why they did it, but I knew them, so I wasn't tripping, so I got in the car. Um, <laughs> and I'm, they dropped me off in Marshall at the, uh, I think at the Walmart or something. I just sat out there. You this shit? She did this whole little scared straight thing. I guess one of the officers in Marshall worked with her. So she told him that I ran away and told him to go and find me. They knew that I was in the store. So he does this whole skit basically where he grabs a, a, a worker and I'm sitting in the front. My grandma always told me, you not about to buy nothing. Don't be wandering around the store. So I said, I ain't got nowhere to go. I don't know what the plan was. It was just like, so where to be in Marshall so I'm like I'm gonna sit at the front of this Walmart all of a sudden the worker comes up he says there she is that's the girl just like that kid you not and I'm like now I know that you're full of it I'm not slow I'm, I'm 13 I'm not slow or 12 13 one or the other I'm not slow though <clears throat> I gotta call you back. Uh -huh. <laughs> so he comes up this is before I went into the system. This is why we're still in this area and Slater. Uh, he comes up to me and he's like, something, something, something. I'm arresting you. He didn't say, I don't think he said you're under arrest. He said something else. And I think I said to him, I was fighting tears. But I'd never been in trouble. I wrote for the newspaper, right? My articles in that moment were in that Walmart. Jean Black, the editor of the Slater Main Street newspaper, she gave me a little job writing um, 